Hello everyone, this is Shudipta from Technical Potpori. Welcome to my second video on fundamentals of CSS series. Today, I'll be covering basics of CSS selectors and selector specificity. So without any further ado, let's continue. What is a CSS selector? A CSS selector is basically a made up of an element selector and a value that identifies a web element on a page. So it can be a HTML tag, attributes, ID, class, all are represented as strings. Now this can be used to identify a particular element of the web on your web page and then apply styles on those elements. Okay, so let's talk about some basic CSS selectors. So in this video, I'll be talking about three basic CSS selectors. One is ID, one is class and one is type. So to understand that, let's dive into some demos. Okay. As you can see on my left side, I have a very basic HTML page. In the body of the HTML, I have h1, h2, and a p tag. Now h1 is telling its uh, CSS selector specificity, which is basically this one on the right side. Now, what I have used, I have used this ID to put my styling on this text. Now to use the ID, what we need to do here on the style, we have to use the pound symbol before the name of the ID. If this is the way, if we use a pound symbol before the ID, this is the way we can select that ID and then add uh, the you uh, use a styling on that element. So this is called the ID selector. After the ID selector, we'll be talking about the class selector. Here I have two H2 and both the H2 are having two different uh, classes. One is heading, I mean, bo both the H2s are having the same, same class, heading and heading. So to use, to use class to find out the element, we need to use this dot before the class name. So dot followed by the class name and then I've used blue and the text talent center. So that's why this technical potpourri and my name, these are written in blue color. The last one is this P tag and this is a type selector. So in the type selector, I can just, uh, I can just type the name of the type. Like for example, P here, I don't need to add anything like dot or, uh, or pound, whatever you have seen before, right? I can just use the name of the type and then add my uh, styling. Like for here, it's the color is black and the text line is center. So this is, that is the reason why on the right side, I can see my output where the P tag is, uh, is having the color black. So this is a way how you can use the ID selector, class selector, and the type selector. Okay, with that, we'll move to the next one. Let's talk about CSS specificity model. CSS specificity is a collection of rules that the browser will utilize to determine which of the developer defined style will be applied to a particular element. To apply a style to a specific element, the developer must follow the guidelines so that the browser understands how to do that. So basically, you know, CSS specificity is follows a uh, arithmetic model, which I have shown here. It's basically four zeros, zero, 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 zero. And the specificity uh, starts from the left side of the zero and goes to the right side, left side being the highest and right side being the lowest. Each zero represent, uh, represents different uh, uh, styling. The left, leftmost one is the inline followed by ID then class and then the tag. So don't worry about that. I will be having demo coming up very shortly where I will show you how you can identify or how you can do the calculation and find out this arithmetic model. Let's come to this uh, example. I have the body tag. I have the body here uh, where I have H1, H1. This H1 is having style. This is called the inline style. Uh, then I have uh, this H1 ID with an ID and then I have a H2 with class and then I have a P tag. Now, and also I'm applying, uh, I'm using this ID class and the type to add my styles. Right here, I have used the ID, that's why I put pound at the beginning. Here I've used the class, that's why I'm putting dot and here is just the tag name. Uh, now, here if you see this one, H1, right? H1, here I'm doing an inline styling. So inline styling will always get the highest precedence. So if there is an inline styling here, this is the model. 
this one is the inline styling value so that's why i'm putting one here this one is a class uh, this one is id but we are not using id that's why zero the third one is a class we are not using class that's why it's zero and the fourth one is the type we are not using type so that's why for this line the css specificity is one zero 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 or you can call it thousand now for this one h1 here i'm using the id to put my style here i'm using the id to put my style now since i'm using the id the first one i'm not using any inline so that's why it's zero but i'm using the id id is always come second so that's why it's one and then zero and then zero because i'm not using the class or type so that's why here it's hundred in my h2 this time i'm using the class called heading so if it is a class i'm not using inline so that's why the first number is zero i'm not using the id that's why the second number is zero but here i'm using the class so that's why the third number is one and the last number i'm not using the type that's why it's uh, zero so here the css specificity is 10. in case of p where i'm using the type the css uh, specificity is one because i'm not using the inline not the id not the class rather i'm using type so that's why only the last digit is having value one so this is the way how we can understand the CSS specificity. Specificity is nothing but the weightage. As you can see here, the weightage here is 1000, here is 100, here is 10 and here is 1. So always 1000 is, you know, 1000 is greater than 100. So this will be applied, not this one. So this is the way how we can calculate the CSS specificity or weightage to find out which styling will be applied to a particular element on your web page. Definitely, there is a very valid question which I'm sure is coming to your mind. What will happen when there is a conflicting, you know, weightage or conflicting specificity? Which one will be, uh, which one will be applied? So that is something which I will be showing you in the next example or next couple of, you know, demos or couple of examples where you will understand when there is a conflicting situation, how CSS will determine which one will be used to that particular element. So let's jump into some examples. Okay, so now I'll be talking about the CSS specificity rule. So there will be a couple of rules that we need to understand. Always the higher specificity will override the lower one. And you can, you can, you can think of specificity as a weightage. Higher weightage will override the lower weightage. Class selectors will always override multiple element selectors. The last rule wins and the important rule. So I will show an show examples on each of these four four categories. So let's jump into some demo. So here here you can see on my left side I have a very basic HTML page where inside the body I just have one h1 tag where I'm using ID and class both. ID is hello world, class is heading. Now on the style I am using the ID to make my text color as green. At the same time, I'm using the class heading to make my color as orange. Now, both this styling is being applied on this text. So definitely the question might come to your mind whether the text will be green or the text will be orange. This is the time when the CSS specificity will come into picture. So let's do a mathematic calculation. So when a ID, when an ID is being used to find out the style, as per the specificity, the specificity is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 here in the second digit is 1 because we are using the, we are using the um, ID. Always remember the specificity comes this way. First is the inline, then is the ID, then is the class, and finally is the type. So if I follow this model here, I'm not using inline, so that's why it's zero, but I'm using ID, that's why it's one, no class, that's why it's zero, here the type, no type, so zero. So the specificity for this one is 100. Now here, I'm using the class. So if I follow exactly this, this, this syntax, if I follow exactly this syntax, uh, inline, no, ID, no, but class, yes. 
and then type so specificity for this one is 10 and specificity for this one is 100 definitely 100 is greater than 10 so that's why the color will become green as you can see on your right side so this is what i told in the presentation that higher specificity will always override the lowest one like in example 100 is always overriding the lowest one or lower one which is the 10 let's see the next example now this in this example what i'll show you how the class selectors will override the multiple element selectors so what is happening here is that again i have this body inside the body i have a div and inside the div i have a h1 where i am using the class and the css specificity this is my text now i'm using this class to make the color of the text is orange color of the text orange then i'm using the type type is like body under the body there is a div under the div there is a h1 i'm trying to make the color green so what if you see the style it looks like in both the situations like in here and here what we are trying to do we are trying to make the color of this text as either orange or green so it's a conflicting situation right so in the conflicting situation someone has to win so who will win the decision is based on the specificity so when we are using the class the specificity is 0 0 1 0 because the first one is 0 not because we are not using inline we are not using id but we are using the class so that's why 1 now when we are using the type the specificity is 0 0 0 3 now the question might kind the question might come to your mind why it's 3 the reason is that here we are using three type selectors body div and h1 so that's why it's 3 definitely 10 is greater than 3 so all I, as i always as i was telling like you know always the higher weightage will win so here 10 is higher than 3 so orange will win and that's why on the right side you can see the css specificity is the color of the text is orange okay with that we'll move to the next one which is the last rule wins okay in this example of last rule wins let's have this example inside the body i have a h1 and i'm using the id and then this is a text now what i'm doing is basically i am using the id in the first time i'm trying to make the uh, text color as green and in the next time i'm trying to make the text color as blue now if you calculate if you follow the pattern in both the situation the specificity is 100 so it's a draw so when it's a draw CSS always reads from start to end. So whatever is defined at the end, that will be used or that will be applicable. So in this situation, in this draw situation, first we have used green and second we have last we have used blue. So always blue will win. And that's why on this one, you have seen that uh, the text color is changing as blue. Now the last one is the usage of the important rule if you still want this to be green what you can do here is that you can put this important and it will become green so important is something which will override everything it's just kind of your magic wand which will which will replace which will not follow this pattern which will just you know, override everything and which will basically override everything and apply that particular uh, style to the element now i will not recommend to use important i i never use important in any of my code because you know in the long run it's it will become very difficult to maintain how to uh, how, how to use uh, how, how to maintain the code so what i normally use i use a chrome debugger like in this type of situations right if this type in this type of situations i go to the chrome inspect and then i use this console which tells me that here this is my hello world this is like the hello world id but in the hello world id i have two i have two style sheet one is color green one is color blue but as you can see the blue is not being used rather color green is being used so if I have to still make this text as green, what I can use, I can use a combination of class and the ID. So here I am using the ID 
and what I can do, I can use the class followed by that and that will make this green because this is the time when I'm using the class and uh, ID both. So the specificity is 110 and not 100. So 110 is definitely greater than 100 and that's why the green is being used. So I highly recommend that you do not use the important uh, keyword rather you should find out you should find out which css is being used from the by using this chrome debugger and then change your code accordingly with that thank you if you like this video please share and hit the like icon and also please subscribe to my channel to get update about all my upcoming videos till then goodbye